Hey guys, hello and welcome to my channel Little Detours. Uh, this week's ride is to coastal South India. Uh, I have no particular plan of any places, but I'm sure that I'll be covering Kanyakumari, uh, Rameshwaram, and Thanuskodi. But for now, uh, I'm living towards uh, Fort Kochi. Hey guys, these are the perfect conditions for the ride. The roads are amazing, the weather is clear. So I will try my best to reach uh, Kochi by 7 or 8 o'clock. Let's see how this goes. Wow, this feels so good guys. Uh, cruising at 100 plus, uh, such views ahead, such perfect weather. This, th th this is really amazing. I have come 135 kilometers. Uh, it's around 10:45, uh, 10:50. Just stopped here for a uh, drinks break. Also stretching my body. Abhi ka rasta katar na khai. You know what the Jawan said that. Toll uh, Plaza. The road is looking Katarna. Katarna. Katarna Thai. Look at this beautiful view here. Amazing it is. It's very sunny, but otherwise it's very beautiful. Wow. So just to let you guys know where it is exactly. Uh, it is here. Oh, this is Kaveri River. I got 45% of the route from Bangalore to Kochi. This is where I wanna go. I think this is gonna be a difficult ride ahead. I think I need to get going very soon. By 7 o'clock I should be there. I should go after Kochi. Let me cover up some distance and I also need to stop for lunch. I am kind of hungry, not so much. I'll ride for some time. See if I'm really hungry, then I'll stop. The time is around 1.30 now. I think I have just come halfway through. There is still a lot more to ride. As far as the ride is concerned, the ride is beautiful. The weather is good. Uh, you can see the clear sky. Scattered clouds somewhere there, very far. Looks beautiful. Hey guys, I stopped here uh, for a quick coffee. It's very hot, very sunny. I think it should be around uh, 30 plus, 32, 33. Uh, I think I'll have something here and then I have a long way to ride. If I can make it by 7, it will be very good. I will get some time to sleep and then the next morning will be a busy day roaming around Kochi. And this is the
Kochi. I'm having some snacks here. I think the omelette should be ready in a minute. I had some uh, bhaji, some bonda, omelette, and uh, pathetic coffee. <laughs> and now uh, I'm on my way to Kochi, which is still uh, 69 kilometers. That is, it is saying 2 hours. So it's already 5:40, 6:40, 7:40. Okay, it will be 8 by the time I reach. So let's go. Later. Uh, today is uh, full of uh, circus, <laughs> so I have to take the ferry now. That's the ferry. Ferry costs 10 rupees, but will save me a lot of uh, fuel and time. I think I should be there in 15 to 20 minutes, so I'll just go there and just crash on the bed. <laughs> Hello guys, welcome to day 2 We are in Kochi So now the time is around 10 o'clock I am just searching for uh, restaurants for breakfast So once I have finished my uh, Once I finish my breakfast I uh, will probably go to Cherai beach And uh, uh, get some drone shots and uh, I'm just exploring the streets of uh, Kochi now. Uh, let's see if I can find anything to eat somewhere. The Bastion Street. The weather here is so humid. I'm just wearing my uh, very thin shirt. I'll show you that later. Uh, it's humid but the breeze uh, is so cool petrol pump petrol pump straight. straight okay thank you my bike has uh, only two bars of fuel you can see i think we covered around 550 kilometers yesterday not 550 560 actually is the petrol cheaper here uh, i don't know have to check Oh yeah. Now let's find some breakfast. here at the St. Francis Church. So the story is that uh, Vasco da Gama was buried here when he died on Christmas Eve 15, 14 or 24. And then later uh, his remains were moved to Portugal 15 years later. So inside you can find uh, a place where uh, uh, Vasco da Gama was originally buried. But now, when the remains are moved, there remains only a, a fencing around it. So that's pretty much it. So, uh, I'm here at uh, uh, Chinese fishing nets. And, uh, strangely, it's not smelling. Let me show you around here. See, that is a Chinese, uh, Chinese fishing net at work. That is how they fish. I think there is some spot where I can uh, go and click some uh, photos so I'm going there So 
so after searching on google for hours uh, asking the uh, localites the zostelliers i found this place called kumlangi uh, which is about 15 to 20 kilometers from here it's an offbeat place not many people know about it uh, at least from the google photos it looks beautiful so i am riding there and uh, i'll go there and check it out Wow, <laughs> look at this guys, this is so beautiful, How amazing it is. Looks like I have come uh, wrong way. to some unknown uh, location I think I'll have to turn back and uh, go and let me explore what is there here looks interesting but so many vehicles are going let me see what is there but this is so cool guys such a nice place not many outsiders are here I think this is the dead end. Let me go inside. Let me see what is there. After that, uh, I have to go back anyway. Oh no! Oh, this is some private land, it seems. Some. Uh, Some ceremony is going on. I think I have to go back. I think this is gonna be uh, this is gonna be very difficult. Anyway, I have to go back. There is no other way. So actually, I forgot to record it uh, while coming here. I think I pressed record, maybe it didn't record, so I'm going back now. And this is scary. Not this. The scary part will come ahead. And the scarier part is this.
I think this was the best find of Kochi. I'm so happy now. Literally nobody here. And this whole place to myself. Hey guys, uh, we are leaving Zastal Kochi and heading to Zastal Alipi and this is Nikhil Yeah, he is from uh, Trivandrum So we are riding to Alipi now Let's go So that was the Kochi episode. Next time traveling to Aleti. The video will be out in 3-4 uh, days. And if you like this content, please uh, like the video, share and subscribe. And also don't forget to uh, press the bell icon. Peace.